Hello, good morning, everybody. I am so happy to be with all of you today because it's been quite um, a little long, but I'm happy to be here with all of you today. I just want to talk about something so dear to me that is happening every day of our lives and which is all about women being on the receiving end. Women are always on the receiving end. If you're a woman watching me, I want you to pay close attention. And if you're a man watching me, I also want you to pay close attention to actually know why, to actually know the things we are going to talk about today. Women are always on the receiving end. Receiving end, I mean, is the society has positioned women to be how they want them to be, except very few women who refuse to allow society to position them how the society wants them to be. First and foremost, as a woman, you need to know that you are enough. You need to know that you're worth it and exist. You need to know that you are strong and powerful and you need to know that God loves you so much. Because if you don't know as a woman that God loves you, that is where your problem will begin. So we really need to be careful of what society tells us, of, what society, of how society wants us to be. First, you need to know that God loves you so much. When you know that God loves you so much, every other thing falls into place for you. It's so sad seeing various women suffering. If you notice today, we have more of single mothers everywhere. It doesn't mean, it's not as if they are not married or it's not as if they weren't married before. But because of what the society has positioned that women should fall for, which is majority of the time a wrong one that's why you find a lot of women being single today even though they used to be married not that any woman wants to be single no woman has ever come out to tell you i want to be single or i want to be a single mom but there are things women are so enduring in marriages that when it, when they see that their life is about to to get along the line the ones that love themselves so much so would decide to leave I'm not saying that those ones that stays back doesn't love themselves, but you need to love yourself enough to be, able to, to be able to know the things you can tolerate and the things you cannot tolerate. And many women will tell you that their husbands bring in another woman on their matrimonial bed and even ask them to serve food for them. Or maybe their husband threatens to kill them. I have seen a lot of women when a man threatens you that he is going to take your life one day. And yet you are still daring him by still staying there with him. Let me tell you, when a man threatens you as a woman, when a man threatens you that one day he will take your life, you don't have to stay there and wait for that man to do that. You need to take a walk. Even if you don't want to divorce that man, at least you need to take a walk. You need that separation for you to actually regain yourself, for you to actually work on yourself emotionally. You need to actually take that walk because you don't dare people. How can a man constantly tell you I will take your life one day and you are still there? And you are still there? Of course he will do that because he believes and knows that you don't love yourself enough to actually take care of your life. You don't love yourself enough to actually walk away. He believes that he can do that because you are giving him the room to do that. And that's why you see a lot of women being killed on a daily basis. It's not like you did not see the sign. You saw the sign from the onset. What are you still waiting for? Women are suffering. I want every woman to begin to love herself. You need to actually, actually love yourself. First of all, you need to invite God into your life. Then when God steps in, every other thing works out for you. Because truth be told, you need to discover yourself first and know the reason why God made you. And you actually, let me tell you, there's nothing like loneliness. If you keep telling me you are lonely, you are lonely, it's because you still want to attract worldly things, worldly favors, worldly validations. There is nothing really like loneliness because when you have God with you, when you allow the Holy Spirit to dwell in you, you will notice that you won't be lonely. First of all, you will notice that you are fulfilled. You will notice that you're always constantly happy these days. And you will notice that things are beginning to move for you. One with God is majority. You are not actually lonely except you want uh, world's validation. That is when you start feeling all this loneliness we'll talk about. 
So let God dwell in you and you notice that you don't, we are not lonely because he will always be there for you. If you need someone to chat with, you chat with him. In case you don't know that we we'll chat with him, we actually chat with him. All you need to do is, as you are making your prayers, you can decide to make it like as if you're having a conversation with someone. And with that, and with that it works best. Please stop killing yourselves. Stop throwing away this life unnecessarily. You did not create this life. And stop taking your lives for a man or for people. You are not the creator of your life. There is a God up there that created that life. He is the one that takes it whenever he didn't fit. But do not give away or throw away that life by being foolish. Because of what society has positioned you to believe. Or what societies expects of you you do the things god expects of you not what the society expects of you and the truth is on the last day you are on your own alone without any husband without any anyone you are just there on your own and you are going to be answerable on how you lead your life so why would you want to waste this life for a mere human it's enough that women are suffering. Please, the least you can do for you is to love you. Is to believe in you. Is to love you so much so to, to be able to take a walk when you notice that your life is about to be taken by another. Please, take a walk. Self-love is very important and you have to be selfish in it. Unapologetically, you have to be selfish as you are loving yourself. And give yourself happiness because no man, no husband, no one will give you happiness. You are the only one to give yourself happiness. So why are you waiting for someone to give you happiness? Why hoping and believing that a husband will give you happiness? Why hoping and believing that friends will give you happiness? Why hoping and believing that family will give you happiness? You are the only one to give yourself happiness. And you need to start giving yourself that happiness. You will experience this happiness by the time you allow God to take over your life. And when God does that, you will be constantly, wholly, fulfilled and happy. Enough of all our sufferings. Begin to love yourself now. Begin to love yourself today so that things will begin to fall into place for you. I'm still going to touch more on this topic, but for now, I have to leave us and allow you to deliberate on this topic and help me to share it to all of our women out there. Help me to share it to them. And for you, the men that are watching me, begin from today to learn how to treat a woman right. Learn how to love a woman. If you don't want to love her, then let her be. So I pray that you women watching me right now should find happiness and validate yourself and believe in you. And of course, allow God to take over your life so that things will begin to fall into place for you, for your own good. All right. So thank you so much. And I hope you listen to this message carefully and do something with it because it's because it's going to help you. God bless each and every one of you. And I'm still going to bring another topic next time. But for now, I have to say goodbye and have a great day.